Facts of Mars, and this is our mad science update for today. Assuming there is another one, spectacular collision of suns will create a new star, night sky 2022. Looks good so far, right? But the article contradicts itself quite a few times, as we'll see. The beginning of the third century, civil war raged in Britain as Roman Emperor Septimus Severus sought to quell unrest in the north. But unknown to the fighting cohorts and the Caledonian tribes, high above their heads, two stars were coming together in a huge cataclysmic explosion. That's unproven. Now, 1800 years later, the light from the collision will finally arrive on Earth creating a new star in the night sky, dubbed the Boom Star, an incredibly rare event, which is usually only spotted through uh, telescopes. All right. So then they said that a new star is going to be created. Okay. For their meaning, two stars are too dim to be seen by the naked eye, but in 2022... Newly formed, Red Nova will burn so brightly in the constellation Cygnus that everyone will be able to see it. For the first time in history, parents will be able to point to a dark sky spot in the sky and say, Watch kids, there's a star hiding in there, but soon it's going to light up, said Dr. Matt Wellhout, Dean for Research and Scholarship at Calvin College, Michigan, where the prediction was made. For around six months, Boomstar will be one of the brightest in the sky before gradually dimming, returning to its normal brightness around two or three years. But how can it return to its normal brightness if you're saying a new star is being created or destroyed, depending on which uh, place you read an article here? I'm not getting this. It's the first time scientists have ever predicted the birth of a new star. And astronomers in Britain said it would be a fascinating and important event that is likely to trigger a race to be the first to record phen phenomenon. This is five years from now. Or so. Good news for people in the UK is that it's in the constellation Cygnus which is always above the horizon, very high in the sky in summer, so everyone will be able to see it. Nobody has ever managed to predict the birth of a star before, so this is really unprecedented. I think there will be a race among amateur astronomers and members of the public to spot it first. The forecast was made officially at a press conference on Friday, a little more poignant because it coincided with the Epiphany, which commemorates the visit of the three wise men who followed the star to Bethlehem to witness the birth of Jesus. No, they didn't. They were directed toward Bethlehem by King Herod and his goons. Read the Bible. <coughs> Binary star system called... KIC 9832227 is 1800 light years away and is made from two suns which spin around each other every 11 hours. In 2013, Professor Larry Molnar and his teammate Calvin College noticed that the orbital speed was decreasing and doing so faster and faster. Which means they're going around each other, going down faster and faster, but the orbital speed was decreasing. Go figure. Match the data from another binary star, which exploded in 28, 2008, 
without warnings and was picked up by astronomers. When experts went back over the data from previous years, they discovered that the crash could have been predicted because of the increasing orbital speeds. So, you can take your pick. The orbit's slowing down, the orbit's speeding up. <sighs> observations of KIC and so forth show its orbital purity has been getting faster since 1999. In the same distinctive way. We arrive at our predicted date by assuming the same process is happening here, said Professor Molnar, who's professor in astronomy. The star is around 1800 year, light years. Hence, if you're right about the upcoming outburst, it actually occurred 1795 years ago, and the light from the outburst has been traveling toward us ever since. Explosions of this size occur about once in a decade. This case is unusual in how close the star is, how bright we'll see it shine and unique, and that will be the first time any, anyone has predicted an explosion in advance. It's a one in a million chance you can predict an explosion. It's never been done before. Not only will it give the event... Will the event be an amazing spectacle for stargazers and will also give scientists an unprecedented opportunity to observe the process as it unfolds? Astronomers do not understand the details of why stars merge or even how the explosions work. If Larry's prediction is correct, his project will demonstrate for the first time that astronomers can catch. Certain binary stars in the act of dying, and they can track the last few years of stellar death spiral up to the point of its final dramatic explosion. But they said it was going to create a new star, and they also said that the star would return to its normal brightness. I mean, which is it? This is what's driving me crazy. Well, that's it. Uh, this one made the mad science category simply because it keep, they keep contradicting themselves. A star is born, a star is died. Usually what they've uh, always said is the way a star is formed and born, you get all these gases, hydrogen and stuff, and they all coalesce and they go together. They squeeze so hard they start nuclear fusion. And it burns and it burns and stars born and we see the light. Now they're saying the stars born when two other stars collide with each other. The current stars also killed in the process. The article makes no sense. Yeah, I wish this thing would just blow up right now and be give me a little diversion from politics. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.